everybody, we are back with another review today. We are checking out Dragon Rage by Dwarf Star Games and designed by Louis Pulfasar. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review. So we got this nice fantasy game here from Dwarf Star, and I believe the date on this is uh, 1982. Right there, 1982, um, Heritage USA. And... Um, yeah, this is a this is an old old school style strategy game. Um, there's some backstory there. Dragon Rage is a fast paced game in which mythical creatures of all sorts attack a walled medieval city. Um, so basically, Dragon Rage it's the Rage of Dragons. And then on the back here, we have a little bit more of the backstory, um, and it has a little more of an explanation. It is a game of mythical creatures attacking a walled medieval city. The game board is a full color aerial view of the city and surrounding territory, and the counters include knights, infantry heroes, wizards, dragons, orcs, trolls, great birds, giants, and other mythical creatures and beasts. The game's rules include six scenarios and a table for creating your own games with different combinations of monsters and city defense forces. So you got a uh, 12 by 14 full color map playing board, 154 full color counters, two die, and a complete rule book with six scenarios. So you get six different games to play in one, which is kind of cool. Um, player levels, introductory to intermediate, ages 12 and older, so this is a 12 year old game, which is pretty cool. Um, so it's, it seems pretty complex for a 12 year old, but I mean, definitely is different compared to the ones that they have nowadays for 12 year olds. I think this is a different caliber game and I wish kind of games were a little bit more intricate like this. Um, and here's some variant, um, basically some variations of the tokens that they're talking about inside. And here's a sample portion of the um, map itself or the game board. Let's check out what we got in the box here. Hopefully it's not a mess. Alright. Here's the game board pieces right here. We got the little insert. You got two little plastic die, a little mini plastic die. You have your little tokens here. They're all separated out, destroyed, broken. Hmm, interesting. Um, tons of different varieties here. And then we have different creatures in here as well. Elm, Whirlwind. I imagine that's not a creature, but uh, a warg. Yeah, it's uh, interesting. What is this? A Fornax. That was a snake, I imagine. Uh, what is this one? A Belm. It's kind of Drake. What's this? Arium. No idea. And Jacor. Or some kind of ogre, it looks like. Lanham. Same thing as. That's weird. Like the same creature, only they have different names on it. This one says Jake Boar, and this one says Lanham. Anyway, that's the tokens. Let's check the, you know, we'll go on everything. But we got, uh, this is the Dragon Rage Monster Damage Record, which is basically a um, sheet of paper, which it looks like is laminated or covered in wax paper, which allows you to um, read this multiple times with a dry erase marker, and you can kind of go through here and mark off everything as you go through the game. And it has the copyright date, the number, monster damage record right there. And pretty cool, it's got a nice waxy finish to it, which is sweet. And then let's lay out the game board itself. This is just a game board made out of cardboard, which is very simple, but again, the box is small, it is tiny. And let's do, look at this massive game board here. Pretty cool, so there's the territory that they're talking about, the surrounding areas. You have, um, what is it, turn record track, so you have your turn counter here. You have the different squares, of, or I should say different spaces of the board. Um, they're all numbered, it even has a key up here in the top, which, let's see if we can, there's the key right there, which has the um, explanation of the river, the docks, the all the, the parts and the pieces that are on this particular map here, which is pretty cool. We'll keep that in the background as we kind of browse through this book um, explaining the rules here. So, um, basically, the invaders attempt to destroy part of all of the city while the defenders attempt to protect it. Each map hex 
Um, the hexagon represents about 25 yards. Each turn is about a minute, and each turn, each unit, about 50 men of, or creatures. Sometimes fewer for larger creatures. The game has many scenarios. The standard version is two dragons attacking the city. Additional scenarios include other monsters. Rules for these other monsters are printed in italics so that you can skip over them while learning the standard Dragon Invaders version. For best results, read the rules once through quickly, then immediately try a game, even if it is solitaire. Refer back to the rules during your first game. Reread the time points as necessary. After the first game or two, you will have learned the rules clearly. So, we've got the map here. It is a city called SRN, uh, and uh, with a key of terrain features in the corner. It basically explains everything. The river runs through the city and ends at Hex 413, which is right there. Um, and it begins uh, at 414, and I guess that's the first bridge. So let's go through and check out some of these. So here we go, Archer um, Illustration, that's the combat strength, that's the escape number, that is movement points, and that is the type of unit. And it kind of goes through minor monsters, major monsters, which were the ones that had no numbers, they were just... Um, the large creatures look like drakes and dragons that we actually saw on those. Um, turn procedure, basically, I guess there's spellcaster phases, movement phase, dragon fire and archery phases, and a melee phase. Interesting. City forcers, um, player turn, spellcaster, movement, archery, and melee. So basically the same thing, um, both ways. Movement has that explained. It looks like heroes, wizards, dragons... Um, two hex bound options for a dragon. Dragons can also can also bound one or three hexes. Interesting. So basically, the dragons seem to have a lot more power than a lot of the other creatures in the game. Looks like the other the other creatures are scaling walls, entrances to walls and towers, and very intricate. This is told for a twelve year old too, which is pretty sweet that the uh, the level of depth in this game um, is here. Overrun attacks, overrun movement, standard attacks, melee attacks, special characters in melee, missile fire, walls and towers. So basically it allows you, the descriptiveness of it allows you to um, basically see this map board in 3D through the um, declination of how large each hexagon is um, in, in regards to feet um, or yards I should say and then how tall the walls are and scaling those walls and also the bridges as well. Um, dragon fire attacks where they can attack multiple multiple spaces. Um, so we got here attacks on dragons and other monsters, missile attacks, melee attacks, effective attacks. Pretty crazy. Um, it's very intricate, which is awesome. Uh, magic spells here: the wizards and magic. You have fog spells, whirlwind spells, um, special rules, destruction of bridges. You can. Death of Heroes, Death of a Young Dragon, Reinforcements, Scenarios, Setups, and Victories. Um, wow. Very nice. You got victory points here. Basically, you score all the victory. I guess you score points. Um, let's see what we got here. Points. Here's the Invaders. You have 80 points and Defenders. You have 75 victory points. The following system is guideline to plan point scenarios to aid point, point choice scenarios. Normally, the Invader must score 17 points. Let's see what we got. Sea Serpents, Additional Spells, Ballista and Catapult, pretty sweet. And then we got Major Monster Data Summary. So here we have all the um, details of all the monsters. This is the summary right here. Scaling Walls and Breakdowns. Um, basically it has Scaling Walls, Roll Die. And it tells you basically rolling this, uh, breakable entrances, how to get in there, and if it's, if it's possible or if it's impossible. So I guess I imagine the, uh, some of them are you'll, based off of luck, you may get denied uh, entrance through where you choose to invade through. But uh, yeah, this is definitely a pretty cool game. The uh, the details of it are very nice, how in-depth that they went into explaining everything. They don't just kind of leave you at it. And here's uh, orcs. So you got the escape, the power, the type, the illustration on there. And here's another one of those larger creatures, which is Belm. 
it's a drake or some form of dragon right there which is kind of neat also so yeah this game is definitely legit if you've played dragon rage before let us know in the comments below if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want more content like this subscribe for more i do board game reviews every single wednesday so be on the lookout for that and have a great rest of your day